Hello students, I Tara, Assistant Professor, Department of Electrical and Electronics Engineering, Kendra Engineering College, Manglo. In today's session, we are going to solve the problem on Module 1, Chapter 1. The first problem, uh, this is a circuit where R is connected in series with parallel circuit consists of two resistances of values 12 ohm and 8 ohm respectively. The total power dissipated is 70 watt when uh, applied voltage is 20 volt calculate resistance R in the network. So we will draw the network first ok as a solution we will draw the network first a circuit where R is connected in series with parallel circuit ok where R is correct connected in series with the parallel circuit so parallel circuit will be having two resistances those are 12 ohm and 8 ohm respectively the power dissipated total power dissipated is 70 watt okay and when applied voltage when applied voltage is 20 volt 20 volt calculate the resistance r so we have to find the resistance r given okay, applied voltage is 20 volt okay two things we know one is power dissipated pt pt is equal to 70 watt okay and vt is equal to applied voltage or total voltage it is 20 volt right as well as uh, the resistance of parallel circuit we know ok and we have to find out the value of R in order to find out the value of R first we have to find out the value of total resistance RT in order to find out the value of total resistance RT ok let us go first we have to list out the formulas available ok the formulas available in chapter 1 of model 1 are I is equal to Q divided by T R is equal to rho L by A these are the formulas available just list out the formulas available ok using this R is equal to V by I we can calculate the value of R but do we know V yes we know but we do not know the value of I correct so using uh, this formula we can calculate the value of R but do we know P yes we know the value of total power but we do not know the value of current right so next option we have P is equal to V square by R ok do we know VT yes we know total voltage do we know total power yes we know total power so this is the formula using this formula we can calculate the value of R total ok let us find out the value of total value of the resistance using this formula ok uh, P is equal to V square by R ok so P is equal to V square by R so ok we are going to find out the value of total resistance let it be PT, VT, RT so uh, on rearranging we get RT is equal to VT square divided by PT correct VT square divided by PT so what is VT square 20 square it is 400 ok PT it is 70 ok on solving we get 5.7 ok 5.7 ohm we got RT ok ok using RT we have to find out the value of R ok let us see how do we find out the value of R using RT So this is the network we have. So this is the network we have. Using this network, we can write the formula to find out the RT like this. RT is equal to RT is equal to in series circuit. So 
series circuit right so r in series with parallel resistance okay r in series with parallel resistance okay so we have to find out rp first okay rt we know by uh, finding the value of rp we can find out the value of r okay let us find out the rp first okay rp is equal to rp is equal to parallel resistances right so when parallel resistances are there uh, uh, the total value of resistance okay 1 divided by rp is equal to 1 divided by r1 plus 1 divided by r2 it goes like that right so when in parallel circuit reciprocal of the total resistance is equal to reciprocal of individual resistances correct sum of the reciprocal of individual resistances so rp is equal to r1 into r2 divided by r1 plus r2 so r1 into r2 okay rp is equal to r1 into r2 divided by r1 plus r2 okay r1 into r2 it is 12 into 8 divided by 12 plus 8 okay this is 96 divided by 20 right so 96 divided by 20 rp we get 96 divided by 20 the value is 4.8 okay 4.8 we got rp okay we got rp and we know rt just find out the value of r so r is equal to rt minus rp rt is what rt we got 5.7 5.7 minus 4.8 so r is equal to 0.9 okay r is equal to 0.9 one more thing you have to remember when two resistances are connected in parallel okay the total resistance the total resistance r total is equal to okay r1 into r2 divided by r1 plus r2 otherwise what you have to do rt 1 divided by rt is equal to 1 divided by r1 plus 1 divided by r2 okay then you have to take the reciprocal of 1 divided by rt then you will get rt right so instead of doing that rt is equal to r1 into r2 divided by r1 plus r2 just remember this so here the value of r is 0.9 ohm okay let us go to the next problem in next problem an 8 ohm resistor is in series with a parallel combination of two resistors of values 12 ohm and 6 ohm okay if current in 6 ohm resistor is 5 amperes find the total power dissipated okay so it is given an 8 ohm resistor okay is in series with parallel combination okay is in series with parallel combination of two resistors of value 12 ohm and 6 ohm if current in 6 ohm resistor okay 6 ohm resistor is 5 amperes find the total power dissipated okay we have to find the value of pt in order to find out the value of pt there are so many formulas right okay there are so, so many formulas we'll go through that one by one Uh, p is equal to v into i okay i is not known total current is not known and v is also not known but y can be calculated right uh, another formula we have p is equal to i square r okay rt we can calculate and it we can calculate right so using this formula we can find out the value of power okay so pt is equal to i square or it square into rt okay so let us calculate the value of rt first rt is equal to okay here it is 8 ohm in series with the parallel circuit so 8 plus rp 
okay okay so when in series circuit uh, the total resistance is sum of the resistances individual resistances okay so 8 plus rp so rp is what 8 plus okay two resistances are connected in parallel when two resistances are connected in parallel formula goes like this 12 into 6 divided by 12 plus 6 okay so 8 plus 12 into 6 it is 72 divided by 18 okay it is 72 divided by 18 72 divided by 18 the value of which is 4 right value of which is 4 so 12 RT is equal to 12 ohm okay we got RT now we have to find out the value of IT square okay so how do we find out the value of IT square okay we know from the uh, circuit which is having only two resistors okay the individual resistance are calculated using this formula okay i1 is equal to i into r2 divided by r1 plus r2 okay i2 is equal to similarly i2 is equal to i into opposite resistance divided by some of the resistances okay in this circuit in this particular circuit okay in this particular circuit so we have r1 12 ohm right and r2 which is 6 ohm okay and current through this is known 5 amperes which is known current through r2 is known so let it be i2 so we have to find out the value of it it is equal to okay it is equal to it is equal to i1 into r1 plus r2 divided by r2 i1 is equal to i into r2 divided by r1 plus r2 rearranging this we get it is equal to i1 into r1 plus r2 divided by r2 okay so it is equal to it is equal to i1 into r1 plus r2 divided by r2 i1 the value of i1 okay i1 is not known okay instead of that we know i2 so the formula would be i2 into r1 plus r2 divided by r1 okay r1 so i2 is equal to we know it is 5 amperes into r1 plus r2 12 plus 6 divided by r1 r1 is equal to 12 okay 5 into 18 divided by 12 okay the value is 7.5 now we know the value of it as well as rt let us find out the value of pt Okay, PT is equal to PT is equal to IT square into RT. IT square which is 7.5 square into RT it is 12 ohm. So, 675 watts. Okay, so PT is equal to 675 watts. This is the power dissipated in the circuit or else another method we can choose 
ok. So, here RT found RT is equal to 12 ohm right. So, afterwards how to find out the value of IT ok this is the circuit we have here we have 12 ohm and here we have 6 ohm and current through 6 ohm is 5 ok 5 amperes and here we have 8 ohm right ok. So, we have to add current through both the resistors. So, we will get the value of total current right. So, uh, current into resistance will get the value of voltage across the parallel circuit right. So, Vp is equal to ok Vp is equal to 6 into 5 it is 30 volt similarly ok here this is let it be I1 I1 into 12 is equal to Vp right 12 is equal to I1 into 12 is equal to Vp on rearranging we get on rearranging we get Vp divided by 12 is equal to I1. So, Vp is how much 30 right divided by 12. 30 divided by 12 it is 2.5 correct it is 2.5 ok 2.5 ampere. So, I is equal to from this circuit I is equal to I1 plus I2, I2 is 5 amperes. So, I is equal to or I total is equal to I1 plus 5, ok 2.5 plus 5 it is 7.5 amperes, ok 7.5 amperes. Once you find the value of I total if you know the value of RT you can easily find out PT by using this formula IT square RT. So, we, we are going to get 675 watts. Thank you.